you must be knowing about the definition of this set uh, but then just for the sake of completeness i'll i'll do everything from the basics so the basics of set is the definition of a set okay um, a set is defined as this is definition i'll explain you all the terms a set is defined as well defined unordered collection of distinct elements so in this definition the main words that you have to catch is one is unordered which means in a set the order of elements does not matter so you can write the elements in any order as long as you are writing all the elements so order of it doesn't matter and then uh, distinct elements which means in a set will never have repetitions for example if you write a equal to 1 1 2 3 it is same as a equal to 1 2 3 and even the order is not important which means a is 2 1 3 it is also same got it so all three represent the same so all of them have to be distinct even if you have repetitions we don't consider them as two elements we just consider them as one element and then uh, the next one is the order it can be anything okay for example this is a set a set containing four numbers one two three four this is a set containing four numbers you can put them in any order still it will be the same set and it is finite and sets can be infinite as well so sets can be finite or infinite so this is a finite set and it is an infinite set it is set of all numbers starting from one so one two three so on infinity and this is set of all even numbers starting from two it is also an infinite set or set can contain anything anything that you can define so it is not just that we are always going to talk about numbers it can be anything so for example a set can be set of all students in a class you know all this but still let me just brush up the basics then we can go into the problems it will be easy and and moreover this topic will be uh, is the most scoring subject in the gate exam or in, in fact in any exam wherever you see sets and relations that is the most uh, scoring subject because there will be there will be only predefined set of questions which they can ask and we are going to discuss all the questions which will be asked okay see the next set of definitions null set or empty set a set with no elements is called null set or empty set so why do we need this is um, in some of the cases we will we'll end up with uh, let us say uh, maybe there is an operation called as difference so whenever I, I talk about that okay we shall see it there so where it is useful I'll come to that topic later now it is usually denoted as phi or this so people generally get confused here so they think that either you can use phi or you can use this notation to represent a null set but then don't use this notation they think that it is null set it is wrong it is a set containing an element phi so don't use this notation to represent null set either you can use phi or you can use this empty set notation okay fine and the next important notation is subset a subset means if all the elements of a set are present in other set then this set is called as the subset of the other set see this if every element of a a is a set here if every element of a is also an element of b then a is called subset of b got it so what does it mean if you can get let us say example is this let us say a is 1 2 3 elements containing 1 2 3 and b is a set containing elements 1 and 2 clearly every element present in b is also present in a therefore b is said to be subset of a represented like this b is said to be subset of a okay and there is a stricter version of it which is called as proper subset you should understand the difference between subset and proper subset generally subset is represented by this notation loosely and proper subset is tight like this so what i mean by this is if you write like this this will even cover something called as trivial subsets if you have a set a then a is also a subset of itself and also phi is a subset of itself these are called as trivial subsets because they are so they are so simple that we don't need to define them actually right see for every set a a which means the set itself and phi phi means the empty set so the set itself and the empty set are called as trivial subsets right and generally when we write like this we are including even the trivial subsets and if you want to strictly 
uh, eliminate those trivial subsets and if you want to talk about the subsets which are strictly smaller than the original set then use the proper subset notation so proper subset is this one see this proper subset means any subset of a which is not a trivial subset of a is called as proper subset for example if you have a set a equal to 1 2 okay and if you have a set b equal to 1 2 then a is subset of b as well as b is subset of a but then they are trivial subsets of each other for example if i have a subset if you have a set c equal to 1 then c is proper subset of a okay so understanding the difference between subset and proper subset is uh, important when we when we go to the power set notation later i'll tell you i'll talk about it um, now let's let's finish it off if a is subset of b and b is subset of a so what does it mean whatever elements are present in a are also present in b and what does this one mean whatever elements that are present in b are also present in a then what can we say we can say that both a and b are equal if a is subset of b and b is subset of a when then we can say that a is equal to b okay Hi. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i'll give you all the reasons so first reason is out of one lakh students who take gate every year there are only 500 seats in old iits so all the iits put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5 percent and iits universities better than iits they have very good acceptance rate like 30 percent 40 percent but all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, for software jobs, if you have done your master's in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India and these are all the services that we provide university shortlisting so depending on your profile we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance so you don't have to have any collateral which, which means without any security now you can get education loan Getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting it, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested, in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 555 454. Okay, thank you.